Another area heavily damaged in Shreveport was the Pines Road area. There were several very large trees down, blocking entire roadways after the winds reaching a whopping 80 miles per hour. On average last night, we talked to one resident who says they witnessed a driver avoid disaster by a split second early this morning. We see a guy that was out in the street on Pines Road. Uh, that was definitely they came by right when the tree fell in, 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 in the road out there. So he didn't leave from here until about 5 o'clock this morning because the police was with him. You got to find somebody to try and uh, get this stuff up from here. Be sure to check our KSLA News 12 app and website if you need any assistance from any organizations helping with storm recovery. The Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office is asking anyone in the parish who received damage to their property or business from the overnight storms to report the damage to Homeland Security. The number right there on your screen. Trees and limbs littered the roads and yards in South Bossier. News 12 crews went to the Bel Air neighborhood where, you guessed it, power lines were downed and trees uprooted everywhere. A neighbor tells KSLA he slept through the storm, woke up and noticed the power was off, and walked outside to see the damage. Parish officials say SWEPCO is continuing to work on restoring power. However, there is still no official timeline when power will be fully restored. Now take a look at this. The power of the straight line winds pushed over a canopy at the Phillips 66 gas station in Mansfield. The gas station is located on MacArthur Drive. The collapse appears to have damaged the gas station.